Irish Football Fan TV. I'm delighted to be back in Jack Sports. I'm here with the owner, Jonathan Courtenay. You may remember we were here for the launch of the Ireland Umbro kits, and we're here now. The launch of the SSC Artistry League 2021 season with a lot of new shirts to get through and go around the room. Jonathan, thanks for having us up here again. Firstly, we suppose we'll start off with the shells kit and kind of work our way around the room and kind of do you want to give us a detail to all the kits and the, I suppose the background behind them because you obviously helped design them and stuff like that. So we'll start off with the home shells. Start cool, no problem. And welcome here again. You're always welcome. Love seeing you guys up here. So um, on Shelburne, what we wanted to do uh, this year after the 125th anniversary kits last year, which were obviously done through a very specific kind of retro lens, um, was brings a much more modern aesthetic onto both the home and away kits for this year. So with the, the Shells home, um, we've gone with a, a kind of two-tone red, which has a kind of hooped uh, effect when you see it up close. From from a distance it just looks like a full red kit but the details um, are really really interesting on this. So you've got the pinstripes even through the darker uh, blood red hoop and then you've got a kind of um, a, a printed umbro diamond around the sleeve and stuff. So it's all it's all up close reveal details that follow down into the shorts um, and I think the, the uh, sponsor this year is very kind of it sits very well it doesn't kind of stick out too much but it actually complements the kit so uh really good good um feedback so far on the home kit and then of red course shorts as well. red shorts yeah we went, we went with the full uh the full red this time and uh really that's that's a again it, it's a part of uh, modernizing things from from the kits from last season because you're trying to obviously always do something slightly different when you're when you're changing kits so um it just gives a different look and feel when you, you've moved away from the white shorts and then next year the year after whatever it may be probably white will come back into the equation you know but it it just gives that different look and feel on field yeah i also really like the the crest on this one and the umbra is a bit more of a different feel than the normal it's kind of like a I don't know how it's a rubbery, it. yeah. It's 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 kind of a, it's a print, but it's a it's a rubber print. So um, it wouldn't be great for ironing over. So that's a little lesson for everybody. Don't iron that one; it could it could melt. But um, yeah, we that that's a slightly different um, technique that we've taken from some of the influence from some of the rugby side of things. So when jerseys get pulled and stuff, so um, when there's an embroidery there, uh, particularly on a rugby jersey, it can cause issues in terms of pulling. So um, that's some of the logos that are used on some of the other brands we do. So we decided to use that on some of the jerseys this time and it, it gives a nice shine effect as well to uh, and a really nice touch and feel and then with it the, with the crest as you said what we've gone with is in a plique um, and then the, the embroidery is the, it, the the embroidery is what actually attaches the crest then onto the onto the shirt so it's a surround and then you've got that nice kind of silvery white star on top which again kind of complements the sponsor in this scenario yeah that's kind of a very very nice synergy about it and we're just going to move down a little bit sure this is the training range there is very kind of Dublin like uh, with the light blue and navy and obviously with the away jersey as well. Yeah, the away jersey um, has gone down absolute like barnstormer. Everybody loves it at the moment. They saw you got one last week as well. <laughs> But uh, you yeah, have them both, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that's the sort of customer we like. <laughs> but um, the navy la again last year, obviously we went with the sky blue, um, which which was a, a similar kind of color um, to to what the training shirt is here. Um, but we reversed it out again because again you're you're not trying to do the same colors year in year out. So we got the navy with the kind of digital print in there, which uh, has obviously kind of looks like arrows going up and down the shirt. But you're maintaining that kind of as you said. The, what's known as the Dublin colours in that sky blue and navy. Um, similar details again in, in terms of the application of the Umbro logo and the Shell's crest and that obviously comes with uh, navy shorts and navy socks so you've got a full contrast in terms of the kits. Um, we, we did your traditional uh, product in terms of the training range and everything in terms of your navy red whites but there's also secondary colours in terms of the um, the blues and the navies as well which, which comes across in a couple of training pieces and some half zips. Yeah, and you've also got the, the G lays and stuff like that. I, I believe they're quite popular as well. Yeah, that's what, that's become one of the we, we did both the gile and a and a um a padded jacket this year with the hoods on it for all the clubs and bringing the the, the kind of cl club colour in if you like through the zips. Yeah. And that's what the gilets have been one of the most popular uh, items that we've seen um sell through on Umbro.ie. Everyone's kind of getting on and getting the gilets. Um, I suppose it's cold. It's the right time of year, but uh, it's also it's also a piece that a lot of people are wearing in terms of it's fashionable at the moment for from that layering. 
point of view. So, gillets are all the rage. Mm, it keeps the core warm, but you can also wear kind of something leisurely. Gives you the flexibility in the arms as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is handy. This new hat came in there. I think that's a new era hat. Yeah, we we, we obviously complement our um, Umbro uh, offerings to the clubs now with our, our new era partnership in terms of the headwear. So we've got two really nice combinations of product there. So yeah, yeah, Shelburne have just been added to that as well. Yeah. Now we just we have Bray here. Um, what's the story with Bray this year? They're so last year. yeah, Bray, Bray uh, are on a rollover year effectively. So both of their home and away kits are staying in situ for this year. So obviously that means both of those will get updated in the 2022 season. So um, there's not and, and their their training product and stuff is not not just in yet to to show you and go through that. But there will be new ranges and polos and tees and all that kind of stuff. But in terms of the kits, it's uh, it's both the kits that were were there last year. So it's obviously your classic green and white stripe. TV and gold trimmed away kit. Yeah, I actually really like that uh, away shirt. So just kind of moving down then. So yeah, the Dundalk range have obviously got a new home and away jersey there, um, and obviously their, their own range themselves. Uh, what was the, I, I actually really like, this is my first time seeing it, uh, the, the new home jersey is really, really nice. I think it really stands out. And it's, uh, reminds me of a kit they had a few years back. So what what is the kind of inspiration behind it? So um, obviously we had we'd started our, our our latest contract, if you like, with Dundalk last season. So we went with quite a, a safe um, traditional kit, and um, we've launched obviously both, as you said. But the new the the one that came out first was the GNR kit. So obviously there's a great story behind that. Um, which is to do with the Great Northern Rail uh, lines and, and we've got some really nice detail up close into the kits and stuff here in terms of the old cresting and all that and that's the colours that they originally, they originally wore as a club and then obviously the new home uh, we wanted to get a bit more uh, black if you like into it because it was we, we did put quite a lot of red into the kit previously so um, we've gone again with that classic umbro taping effect across the top of the shoulders a nice twin stripe down the front and then you've got a little bit of red and the black tr pulled into the uh, the end of the sleeve with again a, a classic a very classic dundalk v-neck um, again we're back into the rubber uh, finish on the umbro logos um, and you've got uh, the dundalk crest done on that applique and then embroidered on with it with the gold star edition and there's some nice uh, reveal details um on on the reverse so we've got the h uh, done on the back for obviously yeah. harry who was a very important part of the club who's sadly no longer with us but we wanted to obviously recognize that in t with the club as well on the kits so yeah. um so that's a that's a really nice addition we feel with um with the kits this year and then as you said we're, we're into uh, some other products for dundalk in terms of the the, the sublimated polo shorts um, calling out the color, cl the, the club colors really strongly, uh, in both the white and the black versions, and and some really unique product that we can show in a bit more mm. more detail later on. And gilets as well. Got the gilets, there the the well. gilets, gilets will appear for all the clubs. Um, so you got your you got your black and red one here in in this case, and again in terms of the uh, the hooded jacket, which uh, as I said, just just super super popular pieces at the moment, along with the. Uh, the mid layer uh, half zips, which are your kind of bonded fleece. So really it, like it's a wind blocker material. It's super warm. And uh, these pieces are, are, are very, very popular with fans as well, particularly in the Irish winter. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit thicker than your regular uh, yeah. half zip. Uh, then moving on to St. Pat's. Uh, this is a really nice uh, away kit. Um, I actually really like the design on that. It looks much nicer in person. There's, there's a lot of... Um, Again, it's, it, it, we're, we're trying to do is have up close reveals on the kits this year. So um, from a distance, this will just look like a plain navy kit. But when, you, when you're when you up close and personal, you see uh, the kind of crisscross effect that's in the pattern. And it also brings out a, a, a slightly a kind of midnight blue is what you call that with the, with the navy. So those details up close along with the, the detailing again of that midnight blue into the shorts and uh, trimmed with red. So it makes it a, a classic but modern twist on it on what would be a, a Pat's Away kit, you know? Yeah, and then just kind of moving on. Uh, there's the home kit there. Yeah, again, that's, that's a new one as well. And um, so this time we, we've uh, called out the trim detail really with the yellow. So we've taken the, the, the yellowy gold color that comes out of the Pat's crest and used that, used that as a bold kind of trim in terms of surrounding the, the, uh, the arms and, the, and separating them the red from the white sleeves, the classic white sleeves that Pat's would, would have traditionally. And then in terms of a graduated um, print down the front of the jersey, which again brings through a kind of a slightly 3D look and two versions of red in it. So um, again, we're we're very thankful that 
uh, a lot of the kits have gone down very well with fans this year and, and they've been popular. So we, we always try to, at Umbro, we're always trying to do um, something different for every club. So we try and do this bespoke uh, kits. And I think uh, I think fans do appreciate most of the time when uh, you, you get it right, they'll they'll give you kind of a pat on the back. So we're we're very we're very glad with the very happy I should say with the reaction to the kits, particularly this year. Mm, and do they have their own uh, training range in that there? Yeah, ev again, everything, all the all the pieces that you'd expect to see in the range, the training ranges, the the training tees, the tr the polos, the the track jackets, the half zips, uh, back again, the gilets, and um, got some really nice detailing on some of the Pats pieces here. For example, in terms of your kind of tracksuit top and stuff, so that that actually design is what replicates into the away kit as well. So it's obviously a much more bold version of it here because you can see it much more graphically. But that that links back then into your away kit as well. So there's a lot of thought that goes into these things, um, that uh, and it's nice to make that link to kits as well because it kind of gives a bit of continuity throughout the range. Mm, I'm sure fast fans will like that anyway. I, I actually really like that uh, that away jersey, you know. Yeah, just then moving on to Drogheda, we have uh, Carry On from last year, and then is this a new one? This, this is the new um, Drogheda um, away kit for 2021. So this has been worn in a couple of pre-season pre games already. And uh, I mean, this, this is possibly the best reaction we've had to any of the kits. Um, it's it's, really nice. Yeah, it's very, very clean. You've got that obviously crisp clean white with the with the claret and sky uh, details so again on the on the side of the shirt you've got the embossed uh, club logo discreetly done into the shirt we're using that umbro taping look um, this time across the bottom of the sleeves to call out the detail whereas on some of the other kits it's done across the shoulders um, and then into the into the sky blue short we've also got the the umbro call out done into the into the kind of silicon uh, rubberized print and your embroidered on uh, crest detail uh, again, which are which are car claret call out in in the V neck. So, uh, and then your classic football sock, which is always you know harping back to the original days. Every everybody basically wore hoot socks, so we wanted to call that out in this kit because it's it is a bit of a throwback kit. But um, yeah, I think I think uh, Drogs will be looking good in this in their away games this year. Diego Maradona socks there. <laughs> <laughs> the usual uh, piece here that everybody's loving, as we said, is the uh, the gilet with the so again in the navy, and then you've got the the, the claret or maroon straight down the middle in, in terms of the zip as well. So that kind of uh, gives you a look at draw the stuff. Yeah, there you are, drugs fans. Let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, then moving on then down to Shamrock Rovers. So just before we do, we actually have the the new era hat there as well for Drogheda, which is quite nice. Isn't yeah, there's a there's a little selection of um, hats for every club. So um, you know, you again on the club shops and stuff, you'll you'll be able to get those. Yeah, um, and then just uh, Shamrock Rovers. Obviously, the one that stands out is the the new kit there. I think that was worn in a game there recently. It was worn last night uh, against Cabin uh, in in the preseason game, and they, they won that four nil. Uh, so a good debut for for the new kit. Um, it's it's a really a kind of a bo very bold graphic into uh, into the sleeves, and actually the graphic is what the graphic is is made up of about five or six different Umbro jersey designs from the 80s. So it's it's kind of layered and layered and layered different Umbro prints from older jerseys all into one. So but obviously with it with the solid black front. So it's not. 100% garish if you know what I mean but you have some very cool uh, call out details into the sleeves and, and it's all popped with that really cool kind of lime acid lime uh, colour as well so that's been that's been uh, going down quite well and, and now that it's been seen on field you always get a lift in, in sales and in visibility once once that's worn you know so that's the new kit the Rovers home kit uh, doesn't change this season well, um, well there's yeah there's a there's a possibility of a new sponsor that's that's to be uh confirmed to us at this point so we're, we're waiting to see where that goes but then into into i suppose into the wider uh, rovers range we've we've got the likes of the half sips as we said the wind blockers which are really really nice wearable pieces for fans and um, you've got the gray version there we've got uh, a couple of uh, we've got the polo shirt and uh, a hooped training uh, shirt as well there training jersey and then we've got some other training tees and graphic tees here, uh, some plain ones and and, and some uh, more detailed ones, some classics, and uh, you have to get the gilet. We we got to get the gilet in at this point, I suppose. So uh, gilet again done with the with the green and the gold trim, and uh, also the jacket that's available for all the clubs. This is obviously the Rovers version, which is the uh, 
the padded jacket. So yeah, that's been that's, that's been a popular piece. The gloves in the middle and, and zips. And yeah, yeah. So it's it's personalised in terms of you got that call out uh, of your club colour within the hood, and the zipping details. So um, that's that's uh, another piece that's been kind of an addition for us this year, um, and making available for fans. So um, it's gone down very well. Yeah, just before we move on to, to the footballs and stuff yep. like that, with, with this Treaty United is obviously another club that are uh, Umbro this year and yep. Waterford, so you're waiting on them to come in. And yeah, play. well, Waterford, uh, Waterford's product is not in yet. Um, their away jersey will be a carryover. There will be a new home jersey. We don't have that ready just yet. And then Treaty was um, obviously only announced into the league in the last week or so. So we were working with the guys behind the scenes, but obviously it takes a bit of time to get your product and stuff together. So we, we look forward to launching them at a, at a slightly later date, but um, we're, they're another great addition to have a, have a Limerick club, obviously um, back in the league and have them within the uh, Umbro.ie family as well. So delighted to, delighted to have those guys on board. So we'll have to reveal them to you another day. Yeah, but the footballs we've got, I think every, every club is here. Um, should be, uh, should be represented. <laughs> Double check it. Yeah, I think we've got every club here. Um, now you, we had been talking off air there that you will be getting women's um, yeah range in as well. So it's not just the the men's football. Team. Yeah. So so this this is a continuation of what we did last year for the first time in terms of we we badged up individually every club's uh, ball. So they all have the exact same ball. This is the new one, which is uh, the Umbro Neo X Elite ball. Um, and this will be used throughout the, the, the league, uh, the Premier League and the First Division and also the Women's National League as well, which has obviously now come under the, the same umbrella and the same sponsors and stuff like that. So because that was announced a little bit later, um, we will absolutely be doing all the women's teams uh, versions as well and they'll, they'll be getting them in due course. It was just announced a little bit later, so, so that's on the way and all in hand. Um, so we'll have those all visible quite soon. But yeah, it's been a really good um, initiative for us. I mean, the clubs love it, uh, getting their personalised balls. Um, I think it stopped some of the old days of people writing with a black felt tip pen, you know, SRFC or whatever on the side. And uh, I think from time to time people complained that some of their balls were going missing in warm ups against other teams and all that stuff. So it kind of puts uh, puts pay to all that because you can't walk out with a different um, a different crest on the ball. But it's been it's been from a branding point of view and from a visibility point of view, I think it's a really nice move on. And then what we also do is with the with the, the teams that we sponsor as in the, the Umbro clubs within the league, they have an opportunity, their fans to have an opportunity to buy the ball because it's a, we do a takedown version of that ball in the club colours. So they'll be able the fans will be able to access that as access that as well. So that's um another benefit I suppose of being with uh being sponsored by Umbro. Yeah. Well, it seems to uh, like, I think the detail is just really, really nice. Um, yeah, it's a, look, it's a, it's a, it's a, obviously a white ball with a nice, strong kind of black, black, grey, and pink graphic. The, 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 the pink obviously helps it stand out and pop on field, so it'll be in, instantly identifiable with it as a number of ball, and that's obviously what you want to do in terms of a branding. Um, you've got your, you got your logo there, of course, but um, you want it, you want to make that ball when it's flying in the air or something, people know what it is. So it's a kind of subliminal thing, I suppose, to a degree. Um, but I think it's a nice move on from the the white, uh, blue, green version that we kind of had last year. So it's definitely something very different, and uh, we look forward to seeing it flying into nets all over the country over the next year. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, John, I can't thank you enough for giving us the tour and kind of showing us a deeper insight into all the different kits and obviously the balls as well. So thanks very much for it. Very time. welcome. Anytime. Uh, yeah, guys, let us know what your thoughts are on all the kits. If you support any of the clubs, let us know your thoughts on the details and let us know what you think of them in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe. We'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching.